What's up guys, it is Frankie here, and the Giants have just taken Andrew Thomas with the fourth pick here in the NFL Draft, offensive tackle out of Georgia. Um, I like this pick. Uh, obviously, looking at this, uh, there's a few ways to look at this. Um, the, the first thing I'm thinking of is that it, it, it's clear to me with the Giants taking as much time as they did that they were looking to trade this pick. Maybe, I don't know what they were trying to, who they were trying to get, but it looks like they were trying to trade down. Um, but they, they went all the way to the wild. They made the pick, went with Thomas. I like this pick. Um, good offensive tackle on Georgia. I, I will say this. I think that the Giants, I think, now realize that with Chase Young in their division, um, they may need to have somebody who can, you know, they, they may need somebody who can, <laughs> who can try to block him twi uh, twice a year now. So overall, I'm okay with this. Um, I'm surprised that this is the offensive tackle that they went with, um, but Thomas um, blocking trophy, J Jacobs blocking trophy uh, last year, unanimous All-American, freshman All-American, first team All-American, two-time first team, All-SEC. Um, what's up, Dream Millen? What's up, Robbie? Um, again, I'm just, I, I thought it would be worse. I thought it would be Willis. I thought they would have gone with somebody else, but uh, they, went, they, they went with Thomas. And again, I, I'm good with this pick. Um, I think, obviously, for years now, we have been killing the Giants for having a terrible offensive line. Sports are done this year. I, let us have this moment. I know sports are done this year. Let us have this moment. But for years now, we've been clamoring the Giants. Uh, who you got for the Eagles? No clue. I'm only focused right now on the Giants and the Jets. Um, but, for the again, for years, Giants fans have been waiting, trying to get an offensive lineman. They've been hoping and praying. They've wanted one for years. We finally, all right, we get one. Help Daniel Jones. Uh, if you went with Isaiah Simmons, who, again, is a talented player, um, if, if you went with him, you know, you have to, again, you, you want to make sure that Daniel Jones doesn't get killed. Jones has a lot of potential. He's done a lot of good things, done a lot of bad things. He has a lot of potential, though. And I, I want him to at least have some time to be able to, you know, make some time to get some throws out of the pocket um, more than anything right now. I, I want him to be able to develop. And if he has a terrible offensive line around him like the Giants have had for years, that's going to hurt. So, Overall, again, I like this pick um, for the Giants. Again, it was I think it was a pick. Worfs and Willis were the ones that I think everybody was talking about. So, again, I'm, I'm surprised the Giants went this way. Um, looking at Twitter, uh, uh, again, it, it looks like some mixed reactions. <laughs> I'm already seeing some Fireman Gettleman uh, tweets um, that it's a reach. Um, again, look, his credentials are good. He got, he, people like him. He did a good job in the SEC at Georgia. So I'm fine with the pick. Um, again, I'm glad they went. I'm glad they went offensive lineman as opposed to um, maybe like a receiver or somebody like that. Especially not a quarterback. I would have lost if they went with a quarterback. Um, yeah, again, I'm surprised. Again, I thought Worfs or Willis would, would have been the ones that would have gone with or Simmons. Did not expect that it would be uh, Andrew Thomas. But again, at least it's an offensive tackle. I'm fine with it. I'm not. Last year I was angry when, when they went with Jones um, I, because I thought, oh, they went with a quarterback, but they didn't go. They could have gone with any other quarterback. They went with this one, but. Again, for the, again, they, they went with an offensive tackle. I'm good with that. I'm happy with that. I'm fine with that. Um, so I think a solid pick for the Giants. I could end up being completely wrong about this. The other X factor, of course, we have to throw in here. We don't know if there's going to be a season this year. So all that, you can have that in there and in, throw that into perspective with, you know, are we going to be able to see these guys? Are we going to be able to see these guys at all next year? Um, so that, that's something that... Um, Something that I'm that I'm thinking about. Something that that will be interesting to see again. If there's going to be a season, of course, we've had all this crazy stuff going on. Um, and will they be able to? Will they will they be able to play? What's going to happen with the stadiums? Goodell said tonight he expects a full season. Um, I I can't guarantee that right now. I, mean, I want to see these guys out there. Uh, and what's going to happen if if we do lose a season? What's going to happen next year when these guys are rusty and you know they have they've had a year off? So have all those X factors there. Um, again, I'm I'm looking at Twitter here. Um, people, people are surprised. Again, people are already angry. It seems like uh, it, this is not a unanimous, uh, a unanimous pick. Honestly, I, there was no unanimous pick out there for the Giants. Um, Jordan Ronan, a pro-ready tackle who played mostly on the left side at Georgia. Someone needs to protect Daniel Jones's blind side for years to come. Um, <laughs> somebody wrote writes in. I'm not a Giants fan anymore. Um, <laughs> so. Again, yeah, it seems like it definitely seems like a reach because he wasn't supposed to go down until a little bit uh, a little bit later. But it, it looked like he was projected to go ninth or tenth, so it is a reach for Gettleman. But overall, again, I'm I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm, I'm fine with the pick. Uh, again, as long as you, you gotta have somebody again protect Jones's blind side. Gotta have somebody maybe try to, to block Chase Jones, uh, Chase Chase Young. 
Um, you gotta have someone try to protect him for however many seasons that he's gonna be just terrorizing the Giants. And of course, that's the other thing is the Giants could have had Chase Young at two, but they had to win that game against the Redskins. They had to win that game in overtime. So, looking back on it, you know, I'll be. I mean, if Chase Young destroys the Giants now for 15 years, we're gonna look back at that and say that was an awful game. You, sh- you should have never won that game. But it happens, and we can't argue about that. Maybe it'll build Jones's confidence. Who knows? Although his confidence will be destroyed by the fact that if there's no season this year. So all of that, so again, that, that's what's going on there right now. Again, uh, mixed reaction. This again, this is not a unanimous. Like the Jones comment was the Jones pick last year was mostly negative. Almost everybody hated that. Ralph uh, Vassiano, not the tackle I thought, but a very good one. Uh, everyone thought he was the best tackle in the draft at the end of the college season. He seemed to fall in the rankings after that, but obviously not in the Giants' eyes. Uh, look, I don't like Dave Gettleman either, but you know, I, I can't kill this pick. It's it's an offensive tackle. I'll take that. I'll take that to help try to, to build this team up. Because that is, what, again, that is what's been killing this team for years. So you get somebody like that. Um, who knows? So I'm, I'm looking forward to see what, what what goes forward here for the Giants. You guys got anything else here for the next three, four minutes? Because, again, I'm fine with the Thomas pick. Uh, for the Jets, though, um, we're going to be watching their pick in about six, seven picks here. Seeing what they do. Uh, again, either offensive lineman to protect Darnold. Again, Darnold got killed a lot last year. Or receiver to really, you know, because <laughs> receivers w- was a... L- l- lot of lap there uh, at that uh, at that time. My my dream for the Jets would be offensive lineman and then go with a receiver uh, because the receiver crop is so deep this year. So um, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll, that's what I would hope the Jets would do. Uh, Hernandez and Thomas are going to uh, deploy people. All right, we'll see. Okay, again, again, Thomas Thomas seems like a, a great player there for the for uh, out of Georgia. So I I hope this is a good pick. But yeah, again, right now I, I can't sit there. I can't sit there with confidence and tell you this is going to be a great pick. I'm fine with the pick right now. I like the pick. Don't love it. I like it. Um, but again, it, it is it is a surprise. Um, so, huh. well, let's, ho- let's hope this goes well. Let's hope this goes well for the Giants here. Let's hope, let's hope this pick turns out good uh, going forward. But again, we got, we got a long way to find out. We got... We may have to wait a whole year to see uh, if this pick will, will work out because again, we don't. That is the big X factor here: is one of these guys going to be able to play? Um, one, one of these guys going to get out there and actually play full games? It might not be this year. I, I hope. I hope it's this year. But again, if we hear that this wave, if we hear the coronavirus is going to come back in the fall, oh boy, it's just, it's it's so fun right now. Watching the oh, the world is just ending, and it's just oh gosh, it's so so weird. Uh, you might get your wish. Yeah, Herbert to the Chargers. And again, the first two picks were not surprising. We thought we knew Burrow was going to go to the Bengals. We knew Chase Young was going to go to the Redskins, even though I was hoping he'd drop down. The Lions, I thought the Lions might trade their pick. They didn't. Um, and so, again, we'll, we'll see how it is. Uh, I guess the Dolphins are up next. Um, hold on. Let's see here for the Dolphins. This is all live, by the way, and I've not done a live stream in a month. So, <laughs> please uh, please excuse me there. Um, oh, Tua is the Dolphins' fifth pick. Wow. So, Tua Tunga Bailoa. Is heading to the Miami Dolphins. All right. Two out of the Dolphins. Let's see if that works. Good for Miami. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, after being so awful last year, but we'll see if it works out for them. But uh, or, or if it's next year or the year after that, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get to see Tua play eventually, and hopefully it'll be good. I like Tua. So, um, but yeah. Any more any more comments here, guys? In a minute, we got about a minute and a half here, and then we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna we're gonna turn out. We're gonna we're gonna um, we're gonna leave here and get ready to do a uh, video for the Jets when they make their pick uh, very very soon. But again, right now the top four picks um, here in the draft. Um, again, Tua was just uh, picked here at number five. Uh, again, Joe Burrow number one, Redskins. Uh, Chase Young number two. Uh, Jeff Ogda. Ugde, whatever, however you say it, I'm terrible at names. Number three. By the way, this was the first time in NFL draft history that the first three picks were teammates in college at one time. Joe Burrow, Chase Young, and Jeffrey Okdu, whatever, uh, were all at Ohio State together. Um, and then um, Andrew Thomas, number four, and Tua Tungavailoa, number five with Miami. So those are the picks right now. The Jets will have a pick uh, at, at number 11. We'll see if they trade up or trade down what they're going to do. And it's the Jets, so they'll probably end up doing the wrong thing, as we all know, as every Jet fan knows. It's just, it's just constant, constant pain. All right, so I think that's it for now, guys. Thank you guys again for watching. If you like what you see, if you're new, make sure you subscribe down below. We'll be back uh, after the Jets pick. We'll break down that pick, and we'll see uh, what goes on there. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this draft night. Uh, it's an, a draft night unlike any other, but uh, the NFL is trying to make it work. We can't boo the commissioner, though. That's kind of disappointing. We always love doing that. All right, guess that's it. I'll see you guys after the Jets pick. Until then, take care, God bless, and stay safe.